Hello beautiful and welcome to another video of Shop My Stuff series. In today's video, we're gonna start as usual. We're gonna talk about the products that I had in my Shop My Stash last week and then we're gonna proceed on shopping my stash afterwards. So let's start with this. This is a um, really nice one. I really did enjoy it. It's glossy touch and sole primer. Very, very nice one. I really love it under um, more of a drying foundation. So this nice. Uh, these, this foundation I really, really like. This is a long wearing foundation, very full coverage, more full coverage than what I thought because it's a serum foundation, but also, uh, wears well on the skin. It stays there all day. It's a very nice looking and in combination with the primer, it looks very natural as well. So I really do enjoy this one. I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to keep this um, this concealer. This is from uh, Too Faced Born This Way. I recently tried this one this week and for the first time. And I really, I mean, really ooh, fell in love with it. So I'm going to keep this one in for another week. This Marc Jacobs thing, I don't like it. It's a little bit too silicone for my liking. Um, I tried it a couple of times and I just, I, not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. The two uh, Makeup by Mario uh, blush and uh, sculpting stick. I really like both of them. I actually started to like the blush more uh, this week than uh, what uh, my first impression was of it. I really do enjoy um, both of them. The only problem I have is the packaging is getting a little bit um, dirty and I don't like that. So, uh, but I do like the product inside and I'm going to take them out for this week because we want to try some nice ones, some different ones as well. <sighs> this one, the Pat McGrath uh, blush. This one has a scent that I do not like. I started to use it more and more. And I was like, where is that scent coming? What is in, what's going on? Why is that scent? And it's a flowery scent that I honestly consider really, really gross. Um, so um, I really don't like the scent. The color, it's okay. And the formulation is fine. But the scent makes me not want to reach for it. So I'm not sure what the hell am I going to be able to do. But um, yeah, we're going to change this one. These two powders, they were really nice. I liked both of them. Um, very nice powders, both of them. Now for bronzer, this is a little bit darker than what I wanted. The Cover FX one, the, um, what is it called? The Sun Kiss bronzer, a little bit too dark dark or maybe too deep for me and I, I wanted something a little bit warmer and we're gonna change it this one too um the lippies mm, they were okay not nothing too too bad to say about it either I like the color on this one the glam jam I guess it's called and uh, the one from Jura Cosmetics a little bit darker I like them they were okay now we're going to take the e.l.f. one two out as well. Um, I'm going to keep this uh, little um, Berry Code MD No Makeup Lipstick because I like that as well as a balm. This I don't like. I didn't like it. It's just, it was, didn't like it. I have a video where I tried them all, so if you want to see more about my thoughts on this, I'm going to direct you to that video, but I'm going to change this one too. This one I love, this one I love, I like both of these, I'm going to take them out though, and then I'm going to keep the mascaras for now. Uh, I really like this one. I literally like the Summer Highlighter Palette from Huda Beauty. Um, I 
think I'm just gonna keep it one more week um yeah we'll keep it these two I also do like uh, do like I like this one a lot but this one I didn't like it that much I only like the shimmers but now I started to like it a little bit more so mm, I'm glad about that all right let's start shopping first foundations by the way i change a few things here and there you'll see while we go but first foundation we're gonna go with to by the way we're gonna have to start looking for things for bridal makeup so i have something in mind hopefully this is gonna work the way i have it in mind so we're gonna go with this huda beauty um what is this called the high coverage cream foundation in three in 300 and latte i really like this one because it's long a long wearing and i'm gonna get glowish one as well because i want to combine it with it the skin tint multi dew and I cleaned up a little bit my uh, drawer with um, powders. And I have the new ones over here. I'm just going to keep them over there. I have not tried this one yet. I kind of want to try it. But this is not the time to try it. Um, let's see. I'm going to do two nice ones. I don't know which ones are the nice ones. I'm going to play with this one a little bit more, the Marc Jacobs one, because I have not played that much with it. So this is 34 Invisible Finish Line. So we're going to take this one and then I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do the Lawless one. I want to go with this one. So we're going to go with Lawless Sealed Deal. And I moved my uh, concealers and my primers in here and also my setting sprays. But I, we don't need any concealer. But I do want to uh, let you know that I'm going to throw away these two e.l.f. ones. They are expired and I do not like them. And also I'm going to throw away this uh, Revolution Conceal fix and in light beige because it's light way too light for me but also because i had it for far too long and i think this one is also expired now i want to think about a mm, primer i know glowish one i do use it as a primer but i want an extra primer on top of that so I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with my Ulta one, Ulta Beauty one, the Poreless Face Primer, and I'm gonna use this one as well. I'm trying to figure out things that I do want to use for my wedding, so that hopefully is gonna work out. We'll see. All right, blush and bronzer. Let's see what we're gonna go for. For the bronzer. I uh, don't know that much. Maybe I should go with this one. The Hotel Harris one from Tarte. This is how this one looks like. It's really pretty. Or maybe I should go with the one from Marc Jacobs, which I have it right here. This is one that I've been trying to get for a while. And then I finally got it, but it was not that great let me open it so that's how that one looks like i think yeah i think i'm just gonna go with this one uh we'll see how it's gonna go we'll see how it's gonna go isn't it fantastic and for blush i i'm i'm thinking the hot mama from the bomb but also I, I'm thinking like maybe this one, Excel, mm, or maybe the Morphe ones. I don't know. I don't know. I'll show you at the end which one I chose. Now let's do some lip liner first. 
I know I want to go with something more in the nude. I am definitely gonna go with this one from Jura Cosmetics. And this is in sheer. And for lipsticks, I'm thinking I want to go either with this one right here that is from Tarte. You know, ah, but it's hard to get it out from there right now. Or either this one from Fenty Beauty, which is in um, Shouty right here. Or I'm thinking maybe go with this one or maybe i go with these two let's go with these two and also i changed this one as well um this drawer as well i organized them a little bit different and here i have all the liners i'm not sure which way i want to go this week definitely need a liner Maybe I go with this one from Huda Beauty. Yeah, let's try this one. All right, so we're back in here and I can show you exactly what I chose. So we're gonna go with this primer from Ulta Beauty, the Poreless Face Primer. I think I really like, I mean, I love this one for many years and I think I might like it really nice with these two. I think it's gonna be a good good combination then i have the two face born this way the powder sealed deal this is going to be for under the eyes mascaras are staying the same and then the powder for the entire face is going to be this one from mark jacobs like i showed it to you and then for the blush i decided to go with excel one it has more of a natural natural blush for my skin tone so i'm gonna go with that one all right, so here are the swatches for the lips. So the first one is the one from Colourpop Going North. The second one is from Fenty and Shoddy. And that is the lip liner from Jera Cosmetic and um, Cher. I also decided to add a lip gloss just in case I want to add a little bit of shine. And this one is from Wayne Goss. And this one, it is in Hibiscus. So there we go. That's for the lips. The bronzer mark jobs. I've talked about that. And then of course we're gonna play with Pat McGrath. Let me take it out of here so I can show you how it looks. Alright, so here's how the Mothership Divine Rose 2 looks like. And the moment I bought this, I knew this is gonna be the one that I want to wear for my wedding and uh, i'm definitely gonna try to create a makeup look that is gonna be suitable for my wedding day uh we'll see what i can come up with and if i do not like the results with these products then next week we know what products we need to choose what other products we need to change and um, then go from there all right well th there you have it this is all i have for you today thank you so so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe we are on our journey to 1000 subscriber we are at 247 right now which is amazing i'm super excited about it so i'll see you all next time with another video have a nice one